Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlet Joy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review Queen of Dogs by Joe Weatherstone. This was a book that was sent to me for review by the author and I am very grateful that they sent it to me. It is a contemporary middle fiction story written by an Australian author which is great and I'm going to start off by reading you the blurb. Maddie's family are talented and ambitious. Sporting trophies, top grades, they collect them all, but Maddie would rather just spend time with her best friend, her pug Gusto. When Gusto disappears her world changes. Her search for Gusto reveals a surprising talent and Maddie can't believe her ears. She can understand everything the neighbourhood dogs are saying and suddenly Maddie becomes the go-to canine problem solver. But when more and more dogs go missing, Maddie finds herself with a much bigger problem and she's going to need a lot of friends, two-legged and four-legged, to help her solve it. So this is the story of Maddie. She doesn't really fit in with her family. Her family are very much the go-getters. Her parents have jobs that keep them busy. Her two siblings are involved in a lot of sport. They achieve academic success and Maddie is just not the same. She doesn't fit in with them and she feels Feels very much at times like she just she's with the wrong family. As the synopsis of the book says she would much rather spend time with her dog Gusto and she just loves and adores him and just takes the best of care with Gusto and when he goes missing it's absolutely devastating for her and her family really struggle to understand why she's so devastated why she can't move past it because to them like having a dog is actually more of an annoyance than anything else because they've got sporting commitments to get to, they've got academic award ceremonies and things to attend and work to get to and Maddie just, she can't after Gusto disappears because she's devastated. And as she is continuously searching for Gusto, she finds that suddenly she can understand the dogs and she's been really kind to a lot of the neighborhood dogs for a long time. So they know her and they recognize her. Eventually they help her with, and eventually once more dogs go missing, they join her in trying to track down what, uh, track down who and what is behind all of the missing dogs. And she's trying to keep a lot of this from her family. Her siblings are the first ones to catch on that something is going wrong. And it actually brings them closer together, which is a really lovely part of the story that she's able to connect to her older brother and her older sister through what's going on. They don't quite understand it. They also don't quite approve of what she's doing initially, but they do get on board to help her because they see how important it is and that she's deeply passionate about this. There's also a side plot with a French with a friendship that had gone south between Maddie and a girl at school. So she is bullied a little bit and teased, but through everything that happens, she actually connects with another student at school and it starts a new friendship with someone who likes her quirks and likes that she's just a little bit different. And when he finds out that she can talk to dogs, thinks it's fantastic. And that gives her confidence as well to be able to move forward and to get through the school day as it was when previously she was just finding it really, really tough. This is the perfect book for any middle fiction reader who absolutely loves dogs. Dogs are everywhere in this book, all kinds of dogs. They all have really distinct personalities and I mean who has never wanted to be able to talk to animals and find out exactly what they're thinking. I feel like dogs could go either way. They could be utterly hilarious and just completely off the wall or deeply insightful in weird ways. This was definitely a really enjoyable read. I hadn't heard of it before so it was really lovely to be approached and asked if I would be interested in reading it so that I can share it with other people and also just have a look. There's so many dogs on the cover. It's really nice. This is a great contemporary middle fiction story. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about both the book and the author down below. In the comments, I would love to know if you could ask a dog anything, what would you ask them? And if you don't have a question for a dog, you can just leave a dog emoji to let me know that you're here. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.